Bolding here. I keep having these questions i got to run and ask you. Because I think the challenge of the question is healthy for this society. I'm bare bones broadcasting. Do you think when you train somebody efficiently to kill, <clears throat> kill, deadly than a wasp, to something that a wasp has no problem, although some things take care of wasps, so I would come up with something better than that. Like bacteria. But you never know it's coming, Mr. Bin Laden. Like bacteria, when you overplay your hand, it kills you deadly. Hmm? Mr. Bin Laden, overplaying your hand, dead. United States military. Now, did they do that with a staff of dorks that the recruiting center took in as inhibited, dorky, mean, grouchy, stupid people? Send them over there to kill? Mr. Bin Laden? Osama? Was stalked by goons? Really? They find goony people in society and take them in the military, is that right? Sorry. That's the best this place has to offer humanity. That's what you train to kill deadly as bacteria. Want a bat? I went to a store last night that accused me of shoplifting. I bought some chicken there at 11.25 a pound. I took one bite of that chicken and I'm telling you, immediately I knew that chicken was spoiled. I'm turning. It didn't stink yet. Like, that's how they check chicken. They smell it. It can churn before you smell it. Is there bacteria capable on chicken that can hurt you that doesn't smell? Is there? You know how they check chicken in the morning in a lot of wonderful grocery stores? They smell it. Well, that's not a very sophisticated way of checking that chicken. Whether you should sell it or not. Nope. As far as I'm concerned, that would be a far more sophisticated way where you take that sample of whatever there and you drop it into something and it tells you what the composition of bacteria is. Absolutely. And not your nose or the interpretation of the odor of it. Huh. Well... The United States military is a place that is quality human beings that as far as I'm concerned, I'd have three-year-olds hanging around the recruiting center and they could have a good time with them all day. Maybe have, well, they're good enough to change diapers. we by three, most of them are potty trained. And um, if you let them get in on the conversation of the recruiting, they could have more wit about the situation than you think. <laughs> Just educated. They have the brains to understand the conversation of what you're talking about when you're talking about what you look for in recruitment. Quality human beings. They know all about them. Or like a, you know, like a uh, dog for a police officer smells out things. These three-year-olds could help you smell out the best. You know what I mean? Tell you to be able to comply. And of course, the greatest thing about the military, they can follow orders and say yes or no, sir. Wear a uniform and comply to duty and all kinds of things. Something that most people cannot. You look at the United States military, it has people in here who can do things that most, I don't know that I could. They can take it and take it and take it and take it and take abuse and take abuse and take abuse and take abuse and take, that's champion. That's what takes to win. Take an abuse. Win. You think given the punch, no, the, the, the accuracy of the fire, no, taking the abuse. You don't even, you can't take abuse, you don't even get there to do this. You gotta take abuse to get there. Can you take abuse and get there? Yeah, the United States military. One tough cookie. Knows more about turning cheeks than you have a clue. Knows more about going the extra mile than you have a clue. Each one of them. They come home and their humans don't even understand that. Wonder why they grieve. Oh, the duty overseas. No! The no duty at home! Grieving this military! Do you understand me? Spalding, moving on. 
Thank you, United States military. The best humanity has to offer. Thank you. I look up to you. As a Jewish monarch, I need you. I, mean, I need you in other chores. I would assign you different tasks. That's all. It's just a matter of priority. It's not the matter they're not good enough. Or, it's a matter of these are a little better, and it's your priority because this is where you come from. Period. And if everybody take care of their priorities first, nobody be anywhere. Ha! Ah! Take care of that, all this. What do you think there'd still be tourist trade if everyone would take care of priority? How would the tourist business look? Got time for a tour? I'm bored. Can we take a tour? You're bored because you're not contributing at home with all you got. Look at the cost of that tour. Man! Gang problem, huh? No, you got tour problem that the gangs are forced into feeding off of. That's what you got. Jewish monarch. Thank you, United States military. You're needed at home by and for example more than anything.